In this video, I'll show you how to connect, how to set up your Canon PIXMA Megatank G3270 or other similar models with your Windows PC computer. I'll show you how to connect them, how to print and also how to scan using the Wi-Fi. So let's get started right away. First step is to connect the printer to your Wi-Fi home network. So let me show you how this is done. To connect this printer to the internet, we need to use these arrows over here up and down to navigate until you see settings over there. Then press OK and select the first option, which should be LAN settings. Wait a few seconds. And then we're going to have three different choices here. The first one is Wi-Fi and this is what we want to select with the OK button. Then go down. Until you select Wi-Fi setup, press OK. From here, you need to go over there where it says Wi-Fi setup, press OK. Then go down and select manual connection. Wait a few seconds. And here you're going to have a list of all the different Wi-Fi networks that are located around your printer. Use these arrows to find your Wi-Fi network, mine is the first one, press OK, press OK, press OK, OK. And now we have to enter the password of this network, press OK. And then we need to use this very, very small keyboard on the screen and these arrows. If you want to have access to numbers, you just have to go on this corner, click once and you'll have numbers and symbols if your password contain such a thing. Once you're done typing, select OK, press OK on the printer itself and wait a few seconds so it connects with your Wi-Fi router. Press OK. Once your printer is connected to the Wi-Fi network, we need to go on the Canon website. This came included in the box with the printer. If you do not have it, here you go. You need to go on this website. Obviously, if your Canon model is different, this will be different. So you can also not type this part over here and simply go on this link and you'll be able to choose then uh, the Canon model of your choice. So you're going to have this screen, press the start button, then go ahead and click over here, connect to a computer smartphone and click on download. Make sure your browser allows you to download stuff. If you see this, press on uh, open Microsoft Store and it opened the Microsoft Store to get it from there. If you have an older Windows version, you won't get this option. So over here, click on Get. Then press Open when this is done. Press Agree. Press Next press on add printer and well mine is already added but I still click it you'll get through this screen press yes agree so over here it simply tells you to keep it on turn your printer on press next it will then search for your printer Both your PC computer and your printer should be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Select it from this list, press Next. Then select Continue. Okay, you're going to get this green check mark. Then you're going to have this page, click Next. Finally, uh, they will ask you to print a test page, but you're not obligated. You can simply click next and we're going to print our own page anyway. Here you can press yes or no. If you want Canon Inc. Jet Smart Connect to your taskbar, I prefer not. So I'll click no. And from here, I'm going to close this screen because we don't need it anymore. Now you have to open the document you want to print. Let's say I want to print this. I'll open. Then I'll go ahead and press the print button here. Make sure your printer has some paper meanwhile. 
and uh, then, then under printer make sure this is the printer name and you can click properties here if you want to change some settings what's very important is if you're going to print pictures on glossy paper you select in media type here photo paper and one of these this is very important if you select plain paper and you're printing on glossy paper then your ink will smear and it won't be pretty at all so uh, be careful what you choose here i'm just printing on plain paper so i'll select plain paper there's only one option and it's by default qualities economy this is the cheapest quality if it's for something that it's not important and does not have many details or colors standard is good for any type of text and if you have graphics or you're printing a picture always select high in my case this is just a test so i'll leave it to standard if you want to print in black and white you have over here gray scale printing but i don't i want to print in color this printer the g3270 does not have double-sided printing so we don't have this option displayed here when you're ready press ok and then press print Don't forget to extend this tray and wait. Here we go. This is our print. Now let me show you how to use the scanner over here and send whatever you scanned to your PC computer. So take any document, place it facing down with the top part here on the left side. You're going to notice there is an arrow on this corner. You simply need to bring the paper until the corner of the paper touches the corner where the arrow is, like that. Then close the lid. On your computer, open uh, the start menu here and one of the software that got installed is the IG Scan Utility. Uh, you can open this one. Uh, if you don't want to use any Canon software, the other method is to go into the settings, then devices from here, oops, devices, then printers and scanners. And from here in this list, you're gonna find your Canon printer select it, select manage, and over here, select scanner, then click on open scanner. I know it takes more time to do so, but I think this is the easiest way. I find this Windows scanner utility that is pre-installed on your Windows computer much easier to use. If you don't have it pre-installed, usually there'll be a download button over here to download it and have access to what I'm showing you right now. Over here under scanner make sure your Canon printer is selected. Source just leave it like this. File type this is up to you to decide what you want uh, what kind of file type you want uh, your scan to be. And finally save to I want it to be in desktop. Once you're done click the scan button. Wait and you're gonna have it appearing right over here. Usually, again, it takes about 15 seconds to complete this task. Great, you're going to have this. Scan has been saved to desktop. You can even see it here. This is what got scanned. And you can also press on view to view what got scanned. And here we go. This is our file. We can zoom in to see if everything is OK. And this is it. You see how easy it is? So I hope this video was helpful. If so, please leave a like. Check the Amazon affiliate links down below to get some ink or paper for your Canon printer. Every time you buy something, I get a very small commission from Amazon. If not, leave a comment, like, and I'll see you in the next video.